Hi, I would like to share with you a bit of scripture. It's probably from the, it's from the, probably the least um, used um, book in the Bible for, for um, Bible study. Um, the Song of Solomon, um, in, ch in chapter um, one, verses two to f four. Let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth, for your love is better than wine. Because of the savor of your good ointments, your name is as ointment poured forth. Therefore do the virgins love you. Draw me, we will run after you. The king has brought me into his chambers. We will be glad and rejoice in you. Remember your love more than wine. The upright love you. Now, th th those verses right there are um, basically coming come, come from Shulamite. Um, they're, she's speaking about her beloved um, that that she's that she's think, thinking of him and it's like like he's I mean he's, he's like so attractive it's like let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth for your love is fitter than mine I mean the, the, I mean the, I mean song song is full, full of like um, lo love imagery um, just but I, I wanted to br bring up the, the, the these particular ver verses right there because um, uh, as the um, show of my um, fa fantasizing about um, her, her her lover br 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 the, the king bring bring her into his chambers. Um, I mean, Christians would basically be think thinking be thinking about. Um, Lord, Lord, Lord br bring um, them into his chambers so for like uh, consummate consummating love to with each other uh, and 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 that brings me to like another another um, set of verses in in the Bible um, John chapter um, 14 um, starting with verse 1 let not your heart be troubled you believe in God believe also in me in my father's house there are many mansions if it were not so I would have told you I go to prepare a place for you and if I go and prepare a place for you I'll come again and receive you unto myself that where I am you may be also and whither I go you know and away you know And this right there is is talking about um about a custom, a custom in ancient Israel when it comes to weddings um, that when when um, when the couples arrange to be married um, the the um, hu the husband the, the bridegroom um, go, goes and prepare prepares the um, bridal chamber um, for, for, for him and his wi wife to um, consummate their love in and and when when he when he's finished he'll he'll come come in in an hour that she, she doesn't know and basically um, call, bring, bring her into his chambers um, and that that, that's where that's where they um consummate their love. I mean, and that, I mean, and that brings me to to like uh, another, another set of verses from from um, Song of Solomon um, ver verses um, one chapter three verses one to five. By night on my bed I sought him whom my soul loves. I saw him, but I found him not. I rise now and go about the city and the streets and in broad ways I will seek him whom my soul loves. I sought him, but I found him not. Watchmen that go about the city found me, to whom I said, Saw you him whom my soul loves. It was but a little that I passed from them, but I found him whom my soul loves. I held him and I would not let him go until I brought him into my mother's house and into the chamber of her that conceived me. I charge you, O you daughters of Jerusalem, by the rose and by the hinds of the field, that you stir not up nor awake my love until he please. And, um, I mean, 
we're we're to be see, seeking for our beloved in Jesus Christ, um, because um, he he I mean he he's um, see, seeking for us, and he he wants to um, bring bring us um, many people into in, into his father's house. So so um, so so um, there. Mary's table can be filled with um with, with, with people that would, that would, um and and that and that would, and of course that brings me to um that that bring that brings me to um. Yeah, that brings me to Luke chapter um, four, 14, um, start, start, starting with verse f 15. And one, one of them that sat at me with him heard these things. He said unto him, Blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then said he unto him, A certain man made a great supper and bade many. And he sent his servant um, at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come for all things are now ready. And they all, with one consent, began to make excuses. The first said unto him, I bought a piece of ground, and I must needs go to see it. I pray you to have me excused. And another said, I bought five yoke of oxen, and I am going to prove them. I pray that you have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and showed his lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and the lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor, the maimed, the halt, and the blind. And the servant said, the Lord, it is done as you have commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be full. For I say unto you that none of these men which were bidden shall taste my supper. I mean, I mean, the Lord, Lord is call, calling, calling um, as many, many people as, as, um, as he desires and to be part, part of the um, wet, wedding supper and all, also be part of the wet, wedding itself because um, he, I mean, he, see, he seeks to save, save uh, as many as he can from, from the um, wrath to come. And he, and he's um wa wants to share his love with with um and as as many his desires I mean, and and that br that brings me to another another set of verses uh, going back to um, John chapter fourteen and starting with verse fifteen. If you love me, keep my commandments, and I'll pray the Father, and he, he shall give you another comforter, <coughs> that if any abide with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it sees him not, neither knows him, but you know him, for he dwells with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will, I will come to you. I mean, I mean, G Jesus has left us the um, pr presence of the um, Holy Spirit, the, who we could call the um, comforter, because um, we, we, we will need comfort in these times that we're living in while we're waiting for um, bridegroom to come and take take us on to himself. And that, br and of course, that brings me to um, First Thessalonians um, chapter chapter four. Um, Starting with verse 13, But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you serve not even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, it is so them which also sleep um, in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we, we which were alive and we which were alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not precede those that are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and with the voice of an archangel and with a trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. 
and they which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Yes. Yes, that's, talk, that's talking about the rapture, um, the event where um, God, sa God sa says to his son, um, Get your sheep together and get the flock out of here. <laughs> That, that that's pretty much all I all I have to um, share with you in this video. So have a good day, and may God bless you.